baby, I'm so, is it bad? Stepped right on it. Aww. Is the skin like okay? It's like kind of bubbling. This is the dumbest thing that I've done. I feel so stupid and I regret this so, so much. I stepped on the coals. When I was going to the water, I was trying to uh, go wash my hands in the water at the river and uh, a lot of those coals, I was waiting for them to kind of cool down so I can pick them up. So I put some sand on top of them. I was going to shovel them and put them in a bag, but I should have dumped water on them. I don't know why I didn't. I actually had a bucket in the car for that very purpose and I moved the grill over to clean that off. So the coals were just exposed and I stepped on the coals, you guys, with my bare feet. It's horrible. It is such a horrible, horrible pain. And I'm gonna show you what my foot looks like right now. And if you're squirmish or you don't wanna see, please look away. I have lit charcoal barbecued so many times and I just know better. I just know better. I'm soaking my foot right now in some water Cause that is the only thing that's taking away this pain. I am in, it was so much pain, but. You can see right there and right there. As soon as I take it out of that water, it just like overcomes me so, so much pain. As soon as it happened, I fell to the ground and I I threw sand on my foot, which was an interesting reaction, but I ended up, you know, putting my foot in the river to try to cool it down, which helped immensely. But I knew I had to get like my foot protected. So Amber actually grabbed some of our fresh water and rinsed off my foot because it was super sandy. And then I put a paper towel and a sock on it. Amber's going to the pharmacy right now to grab me a few things like some burn pads and some gauze and stuff like that and some antibiotic cream because it's horrible, y'all. Yeah, it's horrible. It hurts so bad. The doctor's here. <laughs> That's my girl taking <laughs> care of me. I got every single thing that I possibly thought could make you feel better. Yeah, it stings so much. I'm oh so my god. Sorry. It's horrible pain. Let's dress this wound. Thank you. Of I course. Think I can't even take it out of the water though. You can't. It hurts so bad when I take it out of the water. Oh. I don't know what to do. Like when I take it out like that, like it immediately is just like burning, burning, stinging, stinging. Well, I mean, we have sixty dollars worth of products for you to put on it and fix. <gasps> is it really? <laughs> We're gonna get you feeling all the way better. Me plus time will heal. Okay, that's just gonna be your rinse. I can't even take it out of there. I'm so sorry, baby. Thank you. It bubbled up so quick out there. Never so good to me, Aww. guys. I love her. You've taken care of me so many times. I really am the one to do these stupid things, though. It always happens. Like, I'll slash my finger open. I'll do... I don't know. It's just... When you're playing with knives, playing with fire, you gotta be so, so careful. It's just... I want to share this with you all because... It's just a reminder that no matter how many times you do something, you still have to be so, so careful. Especially when you're doing that kind of stuff in the wilderness, out there. Luckily, we were right off of the highway. We weren't too far away, but I was thinking if we were somewhere in the middle of nowhere and I did that, it's like, what do you even do, I man? think that all the time. That's why whenever you're doing anything dangerous with a knife, I always say, Julieta, slow down. It's been about two hours since I stepped on the coals and the first like hour was just unbearable pain. I couldn't just keep my foot still. I had to keep shaking it or moving it or having it in the cold water. And then Amber, I think you, you guys saw that, but she dressed it up for me. Not with a bandage or anything, just with polysporin and with a cooling gel pad. My mom told me that you shouldn't like bandage it immediately. I don't know if that's true or what, but it's kind of strange. It's a very hard lump, so it's definitely blistered up, but it's hard. Like, it feels like there is something in the middle of my foot. 
this is the this is the gel pad that's on there but like this right here all of this is raised so much i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to walk on this thing like when am i gonna feel comfortable to be able to put my foot all the way on the ground i'm annoyed with myself to say the least there you are darling enjoy your morning coffee Here I am, it is day three. So it's been a little over 48 hours since I stepped on hot coals. I've been thinking about it and I think that I wanted to make this video too because I've been looking online for anybody's experience who stepped on hot coals and I know that I'm not the only one who's done this. Other than for some kind of rite of passage because I know if you look it up, a lot of people have walked on them as some kind of mental test or something. But I'm talking about the kind when you step on it, you did not mean to at all, and you burnt the bottom of your foot so bad that you cannot walk. So all day yesterday, I sat here, I tried to go to the table, I sat outside in the sunshine, but it's really crazy how that one incident can debilitate you, and you can't even walk. It's been kind of sad, I feel very upset with myself that I did this because it was one split second that basically has changed the whole course of my next couple weeks because I really don't know how long this is going to take to heal and recover. And speaking of recover, I'm going to show you the progress on this blister on my foot. So ultimately, the biggest pain is that the blister it must be full of liquid and it's really big, it's really tight on my foot. So when I first got burnt, I was able to just put a lot of my weight on the heel of my foot. But now, if I do that, it kind of stretches my skin. And it feels... Yesterday, it felt really... I couldn't do it at all. Like, I couldn't move my foot that way. Today, there's definitely some more flexibility. So you can tell some of that inflammation and some of that fluid is dispersing or whatever. Because it's definitely still in there. The blister has not popped. If you are squeamish about these things, then look away now. The blister is actually like a shield of, you know, burnt skin and then there's fluid inside of there. Before it just felt like there was a hard layer over top of the blister. But now you can tell some of that fluid is chilling out and I haven't really been looking forward to this when it does pop to be honest because I, it could either be a good thing or it could be almost an open wound. I'm not quite sure at that point I'm going to definitely like have a bandage on it and tape it up and stuff. But for now, I'm just letting it breathe. I put some rolled gauze over it just to kind of keep it protected from, you know, all the elements and stuff. My mom was kind enough to bring me some crutches too. So now I have those crutches and crutches are not easy to use, okay? <laughs> I can last like probably five minutes maybe kind of crutching around on those until the leg that's bearing all the weight really just feels it's just on fire so I have to sit down I'm just grateful to be able to get from here to there anyway I also want to add that I'm super grateful to actually be in our hometown right now staying at my sister's house because I think about all the times that we really are in the middle of nowhere we're off the beaten path we're down some country road and nine times out of ten maybe ten times out of ten I actually have my shoes on when we're out traveling and stuff like that. But if we were at a beach somewhere else, you know, and didn't have the family and support network that we had right now, it would be difficult just to be in the tiny camper and to be hobbling around on crutches. I don't even know, to be honest, what I would do. These kinds of times, and even though this happened and I'm bummed that this happened, it just reminds me to seriously be careful because we don't want anything happening to either of us when we're out on the road, when we're traveling, when we're living in a tiny camper. I mean, those are some of the realities. We're really soaking up this time with our family right now because we are gonna be moving on to our next chapter. And as you know, family is super important to us. So today we're gonna go actually spend some time with Amber's mom. We're gonna pack up some bags and we're gonna stay there for a couple of nights. And I'm gonna just hobble along on my crutches and we'll see you guys at Lori's house. I'm gonna sip on my coffee and enjoy it. I got Winston here with me. He's been loving on me so much. He knows that I'm in pain. There's my boy. 
Julieta has been such a trooper throughout all this. She is so used to being go, 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 do everything. And now this is a forced time to relax. So we came over to my parents' house. We're having the best time. When life throws you lemons, I think I'll have a lemonade with a little gin. Mm, it's a pizza pie. I mean, how much better could this look? This is that dough. Mozzarella and Some feta. fresh mozzarella ball and some feta. I mean, what more could you ask for? Are you having a good time, Mom? I'm having a ball with my girls. Mm. We always look forward to the times that we can hang out. Mm. Love you. Love you so much. Now, let's check in on Julieta and my dad. Hey, guys, what's going on? Well, we're watching Green Acres. <gasps> we're watching Green Acres. Is Green Acres a place to be? Yes, if you like farm living, that's the life for me. <laughs> you know, whenever we're not craving any specific food from a restaurant, it's always the best idea for us to make it at home. No joke. We're so into homemade food. If you didn't know, Honey I Rome loves to cook. And when Juliet is down and out for the count, Amber is stepping in. Okay, don't say I don't cook. Don't say I never cooked. Don't say you don't drive either. And don't say I don't drive. You know, I do everything too. It's like yin and yang. Pizza pie. Don't you wish you were here? We Look wish how you were here too. That is. Oh my gosh. We have, what do we got on there? Pepperoni. We got some prosciutto. Basil. Basil. Spinach. Feta. Mozzarella. How are your crutches going? I got my crutches on, guys. You're doing a great job. You it's just not picked that them up. easy. What's better than homemade pizza? Not Nothing. much. Not much. Thank not you very much. much. Man. With a beer here, I am oh, drinking an IPA, man. you all. The pizza was absolutely delicious. I'd say as good or better than anything that we've ever had at a restaurant. Divine. Ah, so good. And we're actually watching the Adele concert on TV right now. My mom showed it to us and. We're loving it. We're just having a relaxing evening together. Julieta is hurting so badly. Her foot is swollen right now, really puffy and sensitive. Okay. Just, watch just like a little, little, little just, bit. Yeah, just watch Adele sing. I'm not going to go down to your skin. That's all I'm doing. It's like dripping. Do you feel it though? Um, I don't know. I'm I trying to really. To mm -hmm. give it some relief. Pressure relief. It's a new day, and I gotta say, my foot is so much better after Lori drained it out for me. All we did was take a sterile needle and just poke it in there, and I just put an antibacterial pad on it throughout the night, and it was definitely full of the stuff. <laughs> There was definitely stuff on the pad when I woke up and it was completely deflated and there is so much less pain. It's absolutely amazing. I'll show you all later. Today is a very special day because it is our nephew's birthday. So we're gonna go beachside and we're gonna celebrate our nephew. We are at the birthday party of our nephew Osiris. He is one year old today. We're gonna show you him. Baby O is one year old today. We have the cutest setup out here. Cake and food and drinks. Dinosaurs. And tons of great people, dinosaur theme. Can't be cuter, right? It's adorable. So cute. Amber and her mom Lori got me set up with a sandal that's perfect for my situation right now. So she needed a Velcro top, so. Look at that. Fit in it. There we go, so and I'm just walking stylish. on my heel. That's glamorous. It's perfect, thank you. Lifestyle of the camping glamorous. Let's go show you Osiris. Happy birthday, Osiris. Yee, yee, yee. Yee, yee. Just a swinging. I'm making a home movie. Are you hungry? Yeah. 
Yes, yes. I am hungry. Yes, I am hungry, but I've got to finish it here first. Cheers. You having a good time? I'm having the best time. Cheers. True. Cheers. Happy birthday, Osiris. <laughs> and everybody just feels so bad for me that I put my foot into a bed of hot coals and I'm like, I will never ever do that again. Mark my words. Hey. Mm. Mm. Like chocolate. That was a great first birthday celebrating Osiris. I'm gonna show you all what my burn looks like after popping it and draining it. As you can see, it actually, this doesn't hurt me at all. I do not know what's going on underneath that. That's a whole nother story. So I'm just really not trying to touch it and just leave it be. I'm not stepping on it because I kind of can't. It's still way too sensitive. So I've just kind of been rolling around on my heel. So my heel is super raw and it hurts. Today's a good day because I can walk on my foot with my beautiful sandals on that Amber got me. But I'm able to actually put my full foot on the ground, which is amazing. Yay! So I just kind of like lean on my heel a little bit and just walk like that. These shoes are looking all good, aren't they, you guys? Yeah, they had cuter ones in the store, but practical is key right now. Yes, I needed something that was squishy and just wide, and usually that means they're kind of Adorable. Ugly. Adorable. <laughs> I don't think nothing on you is ever ugly. Thank you. I'm pretty far along with the healing process, and I wanted to show you for the last healing update what my foot is like. Might be a little bit dirty because we're at camp. We've been taking a few days away from all internet and just relaxing. We have a friend that's visiting one of our close friends that we met in San Francisco and we haven't seen in some years. So it's been amazing to just reunite with her and have a wonderful time at camp in nature. We swam in the springs. We've been lounging around camp. We've been having big family dinners. It's been magical. But my foot is pretty much almost all the way there. I did have quite a bit of dead skin from that blister that we popped just kind of dangling off there for a while, but the skin underneath was healed. It was a little bit raw and kind of sensitive, but for the most part I could still walk on it without any bandage and without any open wounds, so I didn't feel like there was going to be any infection at all, so we're doing good. I'll show it to you. I never thought I'd be showing my foot so much on uh, my YouTube channel, but here we go. As you can see, it's pretty pink under there with that new skin. Thank you to everyone who kept me in your thoughts during this time. I am healing well. I'll continue to heal because the body is truly amazing. If you've ever done anything like this, let us know in the comments down below. What was what was it like for you? We are Honey I Roam. Please subscribe down below if you haven't yet. We really love you all and we appreciate you so much. From the big bubble, the, what do you call that big bubble? I have all the dogs around me. They're all just protecting me. The big... I wonder what they would do with dogs. I can't think of the word for that right now. I got him, he's a guard dog over there. He's always barking out the window. But it is a big... It is a... <laughs> I can't think of this word. Burns are seriously the worst. 